And hey friend, if you've ever heard before that plant-based foods are always better than meat-based products, you wanna keep watching this video because I go to a vegan restaurant with my wife and my daughter and we order the most popular things on the menu and I had a continuous glucose monitor on my arm and I checked my glucose and my ketones before the meal, during the meal, after the meal, one hour after the meal and two hours after the meal and the results might be a little bit surprising. <laughs> considering that we hear this dogma that plant-based products are always healthier. Now let me just pause. This video is not to trash vegans, vegetarians, or plant-based foods. I have a lot of you know, garden beds in our backyard, 400 square feet of vegetables. We eat a lot of vegetables. But I think the perception for many people is plants are good, animals are bad. But we must realize that you know, grains, soy products, wheat products you know, that are in a lot of vegan and vegetarian-based foods are not always the same as vegetables, right? And so if you're interested in learning how to get a continuous glucose monitor, we did another video on that. And the most interesting part about this video is the two hour mark after having this meal, how it, how it affected my blood sugar. And I'll let you decide whether if I were to eat this way every day, if I would be lean like I am now, or a little bit overweight and maybe have insulin resistance and pre-diabetes. I'll let you decide that. Type that in the comments below and let's dive into the video and go to a vegan restaurant and see what it does to our blood sugar levels and ketone levels. All right guys, so we're outside of the most popular vegan restaurant in Seattle. I'm gonna test the glucose. Ah, of course the readers give me. All right, so glucose is 106. There's a little traffic. Was it stressful, Deanna? Yeah. The drive? Yeah. Not too bad. No. All right, so just for fun, I'm gonna <laughs> test my ketones. I did, you know, we just wanna put the diet to the test and see. You know, because um, people say that vegan vegetarian diets are the healthiest in the world. And we're gonna see what it does to ketones and glucose in real time here. So. Uh, we have Inez with us. All right, so let's let's check the ketones here. Again, it's not all it's not all about ketones, but I'm very curious to see um, what a traditional vegan meal is going to do to uh, ketone levels. Keep in mind, I have had some some carbs today, so I have no idea where this is going to be. Point three, not bad, but considering I had raspberries in a post workout uh, shake. All right, let's go there. Let's put the vegan and vegetarian diet to the test. Let's see what happens. So we ordered a few minutes ago. Nezi, are you hungry? I'm cutting the hay hazel. Oh my gosh, she wants some chicken. She wants some chicken at a vegetarian restaurant. Uh -oh. I'm cutting. Uh oh. All right, go for it. Oh boy, chicken she leg. Wants some chicken leg. Can I have the breast meat? I don't know if that's approved here. Thank you so Those much. Those are the tacos, huh? Yeah, yeah, these are delicious. So it's going to be the soy base wow. fish. Okay. We're going to have your pickled cabbage, okay. avocado puree, and some minced cilantro. Wow. So these are delicious. And then your squash saute. Looks amazing. And your hard house sprouts. The bacon is soy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. So what do you think, Dean? It's good. It's the soy sauce. Really yummy. Nizzy likes it. I think I like like actual fish in it, but. Like Instead of like soy fish? fish? Yeah, like it's real a, the fish? texture's a little odd, but uh, I prefer real fish, but it's good. The flavorings are good. Oh, hon. Hold on, there's some stuff that you're missing. I'll get that. You don't want like that anyway. Oh, shit. All right, guys, so halfway through, you know, the meal hasn't done anything to my blood sugar, which is interesting. Keto effect. Yes, Bob, what do you think? Hi. Muy caliente. D. How are we doing? Yummy. Yeah. The crust is really good. Oh, yeah. I like this. All right, guys, we're finishing up, and I'm really surprised. Glucose is hovering around 90 the whole meal. What do you think, Dee? I wonder what my glucose is doing. Yeah, we got to test yours. We can do it in the car, but sure. I'm surprised. I thought I'd see a bigger spike. So we're leaving. Glucose is there. Where should we go? Vegan dinner is done. Deanna, what'd you think? It's pretty loud with all the fire engines and 
for me. You know, I was surprised at how expensive it was. I mean, the food was really good, yeah. flavorful, a lot of herbs, botanicals, spices, but yeah, for no meat, it was like 126 bucks. Are you kidding? Well, I tipped him 10 bucks. The guy was cool. His name is Garrett. Yep. He watches keto videos and everything like that. So, uh, but here's the other surprising thing. I thought for sure my glucose would be spiking. It stayed at under 100 the whole time. some plant-based ice cream right here. This was the uh, tahini chocolate. It's probably the lower carb, higher fat version, but you got some berries and fermented whatever. Yeah, or Nezzy, you don't like that? I do, guys. Oh. I'm just showing. So, oh, you're just showing. Thanks, Bug. Big treat, you know, moderation. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's rising. Well, which means mine's probably rising, too. Oh. Remember you had this one a long time ago and you spit it out in the bushes because it was too disgusting. Sugar. Oh. You're just silly. Hey, hey, it's like all about the sugar. Yeah. Nezzy. Is he having sugar? <laughs> no, he's keto. No, he is really, really crazy. You like sugar? Yeah. Hey, hey. All right, Nezzy, what do you think of the ice cream? She's ignoring me. All right, guys, so we just had some vegan ice cream. And one of the best things to do after you eat any sugary food is what, Deanna? Oh, man, walk forever? Is walk, is walk, walk, walk. So <laughs> interestingly, I noticed, so we, we went to the plant-based restaurant and then we had a little bit of wine, little pizza, things, stuff like that. Um, my blood sugar actually dropped and then it started to rise before we went to the ice cream place. And I just had a small little, it was a tahini chocolate ice cream. Deanna had the fermented berry. Fermented berry. Was fermented sugar berry. Uh, Nezzy had the sorbet. What do you think, Bug? Nezzy's probably was the sweetest of them all. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, my glucose is, it got up to the highest point of 120. And it started to drop down. We'll see what happens in the next few minutes. It's about 8 o'clock here. what just happened? Uh, Who peed on me? Who peed on me? That dog? Yeah guys, so the dog just peed on me. That was a steep hill. So again, an easy way to, you know, balance your blood sugar after you eat a bunch of shitty food if you do decide to do that. Uh, so just walk, you know? There's a lot of, that's been going on for a while, but Stan Efforting has talked a lot about these 10 minute power walks. All right, so just out of curiosity, you know, again, ketones, it's not like they're the end all be all, but I'm just totally curious because we had a lot of carbs and if the biology serves correct, we know that um, insulin really negatively down regulates the synthesis of ketones. As you remember before the meal, which was moderately fasted, my ketone levels, my beta hydroxybutyrate was 0.3 millimolar. We'll see what they are now. I suspect they're, it's gonna say low or 0.1. That's my suspicion. What do you think, Dee? Could you imagine it was really high? Oh, that would be, what? What? <laughs> Maybe you're not utilizing them though, Mike. Dude. That's why they're high. That's hot. That is so not what I expected. Innately, the body's like revving them up because it's like, no, no, no. We didn't have much fat even. Yeah, not at all. Nothing. All right, I'm totally. That's nuts. This experiment did not. What's your blood sugar at? <laughs> I am totally at a loss here. What's your but... blood sugar? No, I mean, dude, it's all good. It's dropping now. It's back to 116. After having, dude, we had pizza. <laughs> we had, we had pizza, tacos, two glasses of wine, and ice cream. My glucose is only at one. <laughs> Inez, come on, stop. My glucose is only at one sixteen. <laughs> what does Hey Hey think? All right, well that's the experiment, guys. I mean, we'll we'll see more now. But what do you think, D? I think that's crazy. You think we should turn on the air conditioning? You know, I was expecting a much bigger rise in glucose and a much larger drop in ketones. So maybe vegan food is not as bad as we once thought it might be. What do you think, D? I think you're full of shit, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying I would eat that all the time. Absolutely not. I mean, why would you have soy protein in a burger when you fried can... soy? I think that you're just really fat adapted. And I'd be interested to see, like, maybe I the didn't have any. Yeah, I didn't have any MC2 oil either. Your, your body is fat adapted, I think, naturally. It's just better There's, with the stress response. 
right? Which better is with, food too. Better with perturbations in, yeah. in carbs, yeah. So. And we exercise and we walked. That's right. So, yeah. But still, I would have thought my ketones would have dropped more. I mean, that is, to me, I don't know, it's interesting. There must be a reason why they didn't right away. Well, we did have fat. I mean, huh. well, my glucose much, is 120 and my ketones are 0. 0.4. I've never had a high, that high of a glucose with the ketones of 0. 0.4. Oh my God, that really? Oh my gosh. Yeah, your glucose is mm -hmm. 120. I would have thought for sure that the ketones, but you know what? Beta hydroxybutyrate, it's not like the metabolism of that is so quick. In a podcast with Joe Anderson, we were talking about this, how, you know, the, the changes even in breath acetone really kind of depends on, you know, you want to consider this 12 hour time basis because your, your liver makes acetoacetate, some of it gets converted to beta hydroxybutyrate and then some of that then will spontaneously, you know, form acetone and whatnot. But anyhow. I'm, yeah, this is super interesting. So I'm gonna, we'll see what happens in the next two hours in the real post -prandial. And one thing I wanna say, Nezzy, please, please not, don't make noise when we're making the video. You know, one thing I wanna say, guys, the, the reason why we're doing this experiment and the reason why it's, it's good to test your glucose and ketones in the post-meal window, and what we, we dub this in biology is, you know, this post-brandial effect, post-meal, post-prandial. That's a scientific way to characterize what happens after the meal. Um, Atherosclerosis, which is the way to kind of characterize the pathophysiology of heart disease, starts, it, it, it's a post-meal event. It's, you don't get arterial plaque and coronary artery occlusion from fasting, right? So that's the idea, guys. And so that's why a lot of you ask questions like, should I measure my ketone? Should I measure glucose? The times you want to measure these things, friends, is after the meal. You want to see what your body is doing when you put it under stress because disease starts in that state, in the stress state, right? And eating, whether I know it feels good to us and it's calming and it helps us sleep, but, but eating is physiologically stressful, you know, to various organs and tissue systems in the body for a myriad of different reasons. Um, but anyway, just keep that in mind. So I love to test my glucose after a meal, particularly after a meal that has carbohydrates to see how my body is processing that. So just keep that in mind. So it is about 9, 10 here. So this is the highest my glucose has been outside of exercise or solid therapy since I've been wearing this in the past couple of years. So look at that rise, that's crazy. So this earlier was exercise. Anyway, no bueno. I'm gonna go take a walk with the dogs. All right, one final comment. I know I shouldn't be making these videos at nine o'clock at night, but my glucose is rising standing here, which is crazy. It has never been over 140 outside of exercise or sauna. So what do you do? You go and take a walk because exercise has the ability to update glucose independent of insulin. Bring them in Nezzy's room. Okay, guys. Um, so just went for a walk. Can you see that now? All right, went for a walk with the dogs. My glucose got as high as 140. It's any other final thoughts? I couldn't have said it better couldn't myself, it. Mike. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in and, and watching this.